आप मुर्गेश बिन तत्ते चले गए आपके क्या चले गए आपके अकाउंट के पैसे ए टेक के साथ वो भी चले गए अब नैनो टेक आ गया है ना अरे पर उसमें मैंने तीन लाख डाले थे कौन से तीन लाख चलो साइड ऑटो भाई जिसके पास पैसे वो आ जाओ अरे आई आई ये मुन्ना नारायण जी ये क्या लाए आ जा दो हजार रूपए इसे एफडी में डालेंगे ये एफडी में मत डालिए एक काम करिए इसे फार्मर एसोसिएशन फंड में डाल देते हैं तो ये आपका रिटायरमेंट फंड बन जाएगा और ये आपके पैसे चले गए कहा चले गए आपके पैसे चले गए बट अभी तो मैंने आपको दो हजार रुपए दिए ना मालिक अरे पर ये महीने बारिश भी तो नहीं गिरी ना भाई साहब तो चलो मालिक बचे हुए पैसे दे दो फिर ये जो पचास रुपए बचे हैं ये चाहिए आपको हाँ लोग तो निकालता हूँ उप्स क्या ये भी चले गए कहा चले गए मालिक चलिए आपके पैसे चले गए हैं भाई साहब आप भी चले जाइए और किसके पास पैसे है भाई आ जाओ The the second biggest bank bank. collapse in US history just went down. The bank is called Silicon Valley bank. Hundreds of Indian startups have accounts with SVB, potentially holding hundreds of millions of dollars. SVB has invested in over 20 startups in India, including Paytm, Inmobi, Carwale, Bluestone, and many more. The bank had an annual revenue of 7.4 billion dollars in 2022 and was shut on 10th March. And its assets worth 212 billion dollars have been seized by the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation. Now, this poses a lot of questions. Will this catastrophic event wipe out the 340 billion dollar startup industry? More importantly, how can a bank of this magnitude holding billions of dollars be shut overnight? I'm going to jump right into it and tell you how SVB threw 50 years of goodwill and billions of dollars down the drain in just 30 hours. To understand the situation better, first let's understand SVB's place within the startup ecosystem. So, SVB was positioned as a bank for startups and founders. If you were a startup who had just raised funding, there's a very high likelihood that you'd put your money into this bank. More than 50% of VC funded startups have parked their money in SVB. In 2019, they had 60 billion dollars of deposit, but by 2022, that went up to 190 billion dollars in deposits because of the huge fundraising boom. During the pandemic, startups were raising money like crazy and most of that money was going into Silicon Valley Bank. Now, Silicon Valley Bank has all of this money all of a sudden and they're like, "Okay, what do we do with all this money?" So they decided to buy mortgage backed securities and they put 80 billion dollar of this money in mortgage backed securities or MBS which would give them a yield of 1.5%. Almost 97% of the MBS were locked in for 10 plus years in duration. This would have usually worked very well but what they did not foresee was that rate hikes were coming. So inflation rates started shooting up in 2022 and to combat this US Federal Bank raised the return that you would get from buying government bonds. Now analyze this. Which one would you rather buy? Silicon Valley Bank's mortgage backed securities which is risky and gives a low return or US government bonds which were giving you 2.5x the return of Silicon Valley Bank. Obviously, US government bonds, right? So due to this, SVB's value started plummeting. Now to combat this, SVB's founders decide two things. that they'll sell some of their portfolio and sell shares of SVB now this usually wouldn't be such a big deal but do you remember FTX the second largest crypto exchange crash we also did a video on it and you can watch it here so the bank that funded FTX called Silvergate Bank also crashed because FTX was its biggest client and it also shut down on March 8th these series of events started causing havoc in the ecosystem i mean imagine FTX collapse 100k tech layoffs economic recession silvergate shutting it seemed like all hell was breaking loose now in the middle of all of this SVB announced that they are having a bit of a liquidity crunch so they're going to sell some of those mbs and also do a little bit of a capital raise This shook the ecosystem further. Even though SVB's liquidity problem was not that dire, investors panicked and reacted as if it was. To add to this, SVB released a very poorly worded press release, which was the end of it all. Everyone was like, "Wait, our money is in the bank, and the bank doesn't have money. What is happening?" With the outflow of this information, VC started advising their portfolios companies to move their money and that sparked a bank run making matters much worse. This also created a cycle that played out on Twitter as well. Now, if you go on Twitter, the VCs are actually saying that yeah, we trust SVB, SVB has our partner bank for a long time. 
but internally they were also panicking and telling founders that SVB is on thin ice so please be careful welcome everybody to parsota the most unreliable source of information aaj hamare sath hai vc ambi so vc ambi ji aapko kya lagta hai with the recent bank run jo svb ne experience kiya hai kya founders logo ko apna paisa usme rakhna chahiye बिल्कुल रखना चाहिए इनफैक्ट मेरे सारे फाउंडर्स जो हैं उनको मैंने यही इतला किया है कि वो अपने पैसे जो हैं एस में ही रखें कोई टेंशन की बात नहीं है बहुत टेंशन की बात है उनको अपने पैसे जो हैं सबसे सेफ अगर रखने एंड दिस इज द प्लेस टू बी दिस इज द सेफेस्ट प्लेस फॉर देर मनी बिल्कुल सेफ नहीं है बिल्कुल सेफ है यार इनफैक्ट मेरे चालीस फाउंडर्स ने मिलकर चालीस करोड़ रुपये इकट्ठा किए एक एक करोड़ सबने डाला एंड वी इन्वेस्टिंग अगेन बैक इन टू एस So, अगर हम इन्वेस्ट कर रहे हैं तो आप भी कर ही सकते हो ना आधी घंटा सो या दैट्स इट वाओ सो दैट हैज बीन वी सी एम बी सी यू नेक्स्ट टाइम नाउ देयर इज अ क्लासिक प्ले ऑफ ग्रेम थ्योरी हियर see what is smart and rational for the individual is usually bad if you do it as a group so if i'm a founder and i know that this bank might die tomorrow if everyone panics and pulls out the best decision for the group is to not panic and not pull out because if everyone decides to not pull out the bank will be safe and all will be fine but if you think that the other founder also might pull out then you're like wait I need to beat him to it or my money might get stuck and that's game theory at play. People will always make individual choices and not what's best for the group and that's exactly what happened here. Everyone panicked, moved their money and that sparked a bank run making matters much worse. So as per the US law, all banks in US are FDIC insured which means even if your bank fails, your money is protected. The FDIC insures each bank up to $250,000 per depositor per account. but this law does not apply to company accounts and hence it is up to the government whether they can bail out or not let's look at the second order impact of this on indian companies there're going to be a lot of vendor freezes to indian companies lots of indian services agencies are dependent on us clients who bank with silicon valley bank 80% of indian exports by volume is it services a freeze here will hit our gdp very hard salaries of lots of indian developers will be frozen which means their families are going to be directly impacted many will get laid off if government does not bail out silicon valley bank american investors will stop investing in india which will also slow down growth and cause further layoffs people not trusting banks is a very large issue in itself our entire system relies on the fact that you can put your money in a bank and it will be fine if that can't be trusted then it will lead to lawlessness and people will start doing bank runs on other smaller banks we don't want to go back to the barter system now do we hello sir welcome to av electronics what would you like to have sir hi um can you get me that latest iphone please here you go <sighs> ah thank you and here's your payment on paytm prapt hue welcome sir kya lenge aap upma burger vada pav chai 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 i'd like to have that one chicken burger please ah thank you and here's your payment prapt hue thank you हाँ बोलो क्या चाहिए मालिक बहुत भूख लगी है कुछ खाने को दे दो सारा कैश ले आया हूँ इसमें भर के ये सब क्या है ये रद्दी का कुछ काम नहीं इधर ये नहीं चलता है पे ठीक है ओ भाई एक मिनट रुको हाँ ये कौन है तुम्हारे साथ मेरा बेटा है मालिक चिकन लोगे हाँ मालिक भूख लगी है ये तुम्हें दस साल के लिए अंडा देगा और ये मेरे साथ दस साल के लिए मजदूरी करेगा ठीक है चलो कुछ खाने को तो मिला चलो फाइनली खाने को कुछ मिलेगा काश अपना पोल्ट्री फार्म भी खोल एक दिन एक मिनट ये तो मुर्गा है 